So Arsenal beat West Brom 2-0. All sounds good. All Arsenal fans should be happy, right? Well, wrong, because about 10,000 fans didn't seem to go to the game yesterday. The official attendance was around 59,000, but a lot of those people were season ticket holders who decided to watch the game from their front room instead of going to the ground. Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV joins us now to talk about this. Now, Robbie, this is a really strange one because from, from the outset, it looks like people are not going to the games because you're third in the league. Is that a little bit spoiled? I think some people might think that, but as someone who goes to every single game, if they play good or bad, how do you feel about this? Your, your other Arsenal fans not going to the game? Um, listen, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's up to them, isn't it? Um, you've got a lot of fans that also, it's, at the moment, are very, very frustrated. It's, it's not as simple as uh, they're in third place. Why are uh, Arsenal fans moaning? It's more to do with the fact that Again, this season, we're not challenging to win the league when in January we were top of the league and we've just fallen away. And we've seen this happen at Arsenal now over the last five seasons. We've fallen away and we've always been way off the top coming into the running. And I think it's a lot of frustration, uh, coupled with the fact that the game was uh, on a Thursday night. Uh, which is kind of a very unusual time to put a game. So, uh, you know, we're not used to games on a Thursday night. So I think there's a bit of that as well. People having to sort of rejig their schedules, etc. But there definitely was a feeling that a lot of fans, fans that even I know, said, uh, you know, I can't be asked. It's live on TV. I'm going to give my ticket to my mate. I'm going to sell my ticket. Uh, I can't be bothered to go. Uh, I've had enough of this team. And... The game on Sunday against Crystal Palace was kind of the last straw, which really got people really peed off. The fact that Palace were dreadful on that day. I'd say Palace were probably worse than West Brom were last night, but they still somehow managed to get a draw out of the game. And this is just frustration, really. But some fans, I guess, would go, well, then your team needs you even more. When it isn't going your way, you need to get behind your side. You've seen fans leave the game or not go to the game in protest because of ticket prices and things like that. The ticket prices at Arsenal are very high, so that would be an understandable reason to do it. But just for the level of performance to, to not go, mm. do you think it's OK that people will see that and then look at Arsenal fans and think that they're, again, I have to go back to that same word, that they're a tiny bit spoilt because teams that oh. uh, are lower in lower leagues, they get... They get walloped all the time and they keep coming back. And I'm sure there's Arsenal fans, a lot of Arsenal fans, who would love to go to a game but haven't got the opportunity because they don't have a season ticket. So how do you feel about that? Me personally, I, I, I'm the sort of fan that I'll be there. Even if we're getting walloped, I'll still be there. But this is not nothing that's unique to Arsenal, by the way. I mean, this is... Uh, if anything, I'd say we got the best support in the whole of the Premier League because we haven't won anything for in the league for so long and we're always sold out. And, you know, you've only got to look at, like, many other teams in the, in the Premier League this season. They haven't sold out or they haven't had full grounds, including Manchester United. The, the other night, Manchester United had loads of empty seats as well. So this is nothing unique to Arsenal. I think the reason why it's been highlighted so much is because... We're always sold out, no matter what. The ground is always sold out. So the fact that this has happened at Arsenal, it's almost like it's seen as people are really protesting with their feet and really showing their discontent because normally they are always behind the team, no matter what. But in this case, they're saying enough is enough. We want to see some changes at Arsenal. Some people want to see change in management. Some people want to see a change in attitude of the team. Some people want to see a change in which we start to bring in some better players. And the only way they feel they can get that message across is by saying, you know, what, I'm not going to go. And I can respect that, you know, um, because these fans have been going week in, week out through thick and thin. So it's not a thing like... Well, I think like, coming from a QPR fan, I'm going to put myself week. out there now, is you talk about thick and thin. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's that thin to me. What well, do you mean? Because you because you haven't won the league, is that a reason just to not go? Like what? 
I think, listen, as a QPR fan, and all respect due to QPR, but listen, this is a big club, Arsenal, right? And, you know, we want to challenge. When, when Arsenal fans moved to the Emirates Stadium, what we were sold um, when we moved from Highbury was we're moving to this stadium because we want to become one of the elite clubs in Europe. Um, we was also told that the model that we're looking to follow is that of Bayern Munich. And that, you know, be patient. We're moving into this new stadium. It's going to be some tough times. But after that, once we've paid off some of those debts, um, we're going to be, you know, one of the elite clubs in Europe. At the moment, we're far from that. And fans are very frustrated. So I understand what you're saying, you know, QPR and t team fans of Leeds and other teams, Villa and that will look on it and think, you know, what are you moaning about? We've been relegated, etc. But it's all relative. And in our case, what we've been promised is not what we're getting. We're seeing underperforming team each and every week. And it's just frustration. And the frustration has boiled down to now where fans are like, you know what? I'm going to show you that don't take me coming here every single week for granted. I'm not going to come this week. Right? Just to show the team and to show the management that, you know, don't take me for granted. We're not happy. Would you ever get to that on. point where you wouldn't go and support your team? No, I, no, I wouldn't, but that's just me. You know what I mean? That's just me. And I don't knock a fan for saying that, you know, because as I said, it's nothing unique to Arsenal. Um, you know, this happens to practically every team, even, you know, when we went to play Barcelona, um, you know, in the Champions League, they're considered one of the biggest clubs in the world. I can show you that they had far more empty seats apart from the Arsenal end than there was last night. I was glad that I went there last night. It was a it was a decent performance, a better performance than the other day. Was, I saw some good goals from Alexis Sanchez. So, so to solve I, mean, I want to be there. To, to solve this problem, there, Robbie. But, what do Arsenal need to do to, to stop this? Because these people, they're, they're within their rights to, to not go to the game if they don't want to go to the game. And there's a million different reasons why, mm. why you can do that, and that's their choice. But if you want this to, to not happen again, what, what needs to change? What needs to change is um, an attitude at the club um, amongst the manager, amongst the players, amongst the owners of the club. Um, they need to start listening to the fans. The fans just want... Arsenal to start challenging again. Over the last five seasons, um, we've been at this stage of the season, after 33 games, we've been 10 points off winning the league. That's not good enough for a club the size of Arsenal, for the amount of money that's being spent, for the amount of money that fans are paying for tickets. They want better than this. And I think, listen, they're not going to be able to do much about it from now till the end of the season, apart from try and put in some decent performances. But come next season, they need to invest in the team. There needs to be possibly, I don't know, you know, they need to look at the managerial situation. But there needs to be changes. There needs to be a new attitude around the place to try and win back the fans because fans at the moment are also very, very frustrated with what's been going on. Because, as I said, it's all relative. You can have a team that you support. I've got mates who support teams that lose nearly every week. So their expectations is low. When you support a team that's been used to winning things and you haven't won nothing for 10 years, you know, well, you haven't won the league for 10 years, which is what you want. Um, added to that, the fact that the guys up the road, that mob, are doing very well, well and table, have a chance Robbie. of winning it. Frustration starts to boil um, over. Well, cheers, Robbie, for, for talking to us. I know it's, it's quite a divisive issue and uh, we appreciate you chatting to us about it. Um, guys, let us know what you think about this one. Um, it is a tricky one. Everyone's got their right to not go to the game. But do you think the Arsenal fans should have gone and supported their team? Um, tell us about these frustrations that you have. What needs to change for, for this not to happen again at a club that's so well supported? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the Ball Street channel.